Good morning. Welcome. Yes, I'm wearing a sweater. I'm back in Canada for the time being. Still nomadic, though, still working from everywhere and anywhere. And that's why this uh, paperless office is so important to me. And we're going to look at that a bit more today. The use case or the problem that I'm facing here is that people are buying my Intranet built toolkit online, and I want to give them access to this uh, SharePoint in Practice site where they have templates and tools and all those good things. Uh, and well, Microsoft 365 has changed the way they do things. Yes. So the guest user that I had, the dear reader user, no longer works. And so now I'm adding individual guest logins for each user. So I'm going to automate that process, of course. And the first step is to have a form that fills a list. And then from there, I'll be able to create the guest logins either uh, in an automated fashion or through uh, semi-automated. So today it'll be a forms form that triggers a Power Automate flow that populates a list. So let's get into it. So I'm going to go up to the app launcher, the beloved waffle, and launch Microsoft Forms. If it's not here, of course, you could just type it in here. I'm going to go into Forms. And I'll create a new form. So as you probably know, I'm using the business basic version of Microsoft 365. So most of you will have the exact same tool set that I have. Some may have more and a few may have less. Now I've created the information that I want to put into this form in a Word document on the other screen. So I'm going to copy and paste. I recommend building these forms at least to some extent in Word first because it gives you that ability to think in advance, spell check, all those other good things. So, um, and I'm going to take these extra spaces out that Word is happy to add for me. Okay, so this is the Internet Build Toolkit, and I can add a logo here. Okay, there's my Lightweaver logo. Now, I'm going to add a question. Boop. And the first question, as I look at my email, is a text over here. And please enter your email address. So this is required. And I've got a subtitle here. So I'll add a subtitle, add a subtitle. And that's it. Add a new question. This is a choice question. Where did you purchase this the Internet Build Toolkit? And this is required also. First option is lightlever.ca. Or Amazon and add other option and I think that's it. I've got that required as well. Add a new question and this is the purchase date. Date, purchase date and no subtitle needed. No subtitle and this would be a date. And I'm not going to make that one required. Now I want to change some settings. Accept responses. So anyone, so this is an anonymous form. Anyone can respond. Accept responses anytime. A lot of them are saved. No, keep it simple. And get email notification. And that's me. So I'm going to put a custom thank you message down here. Otherwise, it just says the responses are submitted. There we go. So that is the form. And the interesting thing about Microsoft Forms is that it does a, uh, uh, it saves as it goes, like a lot of these tools. So this is what it's going to look like. So now what I'll do is I'll go back into my SharePoint site here. And I'm going to go back to my main light lever site where I manage my entire business. And I'm going to create a new list. 
and this is going to be a list. And this will be a toolkit guest users. I'll create that list. And now what I want to do is add columns. So first of all, I'll rename this uh, column. The title column is always there. And I'm going to call this email address. And I like to save my column names with no spaces when I first create them because it makes it cleaner behind the scenes. Um, and then from there, you can rename it to put a space in so it's easier to read. Whoops. Email address space. So SharePoint has stored that without the space, and now I'm displaying it with a space. Yeah, SharePoint, don't you love it? And uh, I'm going to put a text field. And it's where purchased, again, where perch. And that is where did you purchase this? And notice I could make this a choice field because it's basically Amazon, Lightlever, or other, but I'm going to keep a single item of text so there's less chance that the flow will fail when it goes to populate this from the form if the form changes later. So let me rename column settings, edit, where purchased. Boop, 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 question mark and everything. Pretty fancy. Those are definitely special characters. And I'm going to add a date column next. And this is perch. I'll put I'll say date perch just as match the other format. Date perch. And date and time include time no, friendly no, default value, none, safe. Okay, and let me just rename this one. Date purchased. Oop. All right. So hmm, I'm going to add one more for uh, a multiple line of text. And I'm just going to say additional comments. Uh, I'll just call it comments. Again, no spaces. Yes, I know. Uh, check the more options. I don't want enhanced. I want just straight text for this. The enhanced rich text, only use it if you really need it. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm going to go back to my forms form, and I'm going to add a comments field so that we capture that. I didn't think of that before. So give them an opportunity to place uh, any additional comments. Add a new question. Next. Any, so feel free to add a comment or ask a question here. Okay, so this is a long answer. Is it required? No, it's optional. Okay, let's just preview that now. Now everything else came in bold. That's interesting when I copied it from Word, they come in bold, I didn't know that. That's good to know. So I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to see if I can just bold it here with, oh yeah, there it is. Cool. Not required. Okay. So now I'm just going to close that, and there, I've got that all ready to go. Okay. So the next step now is create a Power Automate flow to populate the list from the form. So I'm going to go into Power Automate. Oh, it's not showing up. No problem. Power Automate. OK, I'm going to create a new flow. And there's lots of different re uh, readily available templates. I'm just going to start with a automated Cloudflow. And this will be uh, Capture Toolkit Email addresses from forms. Okay. Now I'm going to search the triggers for 
Forms. Uh, when a new response is submitted, Microsoft Forms. Well, isn't that convenient? I think that's the one. Great. So I'm creating a new. And I'm closing Copilot because I'm not using that right now. When a new response is submitted, pick a form. And I should have. Welcome to SharePoint and Practice Toolkit. Build Toolkit. There it is. All right. So now I'm going to add an action. And this is get responses. So that's the next thing is you you get the form, get response details from the form. Now from here, I'm going to, when a new response is submitted, I'm going to get the response ID. And then I get to create a new item in SharePoint. Create item in SharePoint. This is going to be in my Lightleaver home site. That's where I created it. The list is toolkit responses. Tool, toolkit guest users, there it is. So I've selected that. And now if I show all here, I should see the fields. There we go. The title, which is, of course, the email address field, I'm going to pull out of get response details. Enter your email address. There it is. So that they sh it shows the, the text of the response here. Let me move me over. It shows the text of the response question here. Where purchased. Let's see if I can grab that. Let me move myself out of the way again. <laughs> Where purchased. Where did you purchase? Date purchased. Get that response. Purchase date. Comments. Feel free to add comments. Notice there's a responders email field there as well. Notice one of the fields that comes in the form that's not a field in the form is responders email. That will be filled in for non-anonymous forms. This one's anonymous, so that'll be empty. And submission time is sometimes useful. All right, so that's creating items. So let me save this. So what I like to do to test is I go into edit mode in Power Automate, and I go into test manually in this case, because I haven't run it before, and test. Now it says, to see it work, submit a new response to the selected form. Okay, I'm gonna to go to forms, this one, and I'm going to preview it. So enter your email address, test at test.com. Where did you purchase? From Lightleaver, purchase date, uh, yesterday, and testing, submit. There's my, and I think I want to clean clean up that a little bit. I'll add some line breaks. That's hard to read, isn't it? Go back here. Fix that right now while I'm thinking of it. Custom response. So in which case, yeah. In which case? Let's just add a few line breaks in there. Okay. Now, let's go back to Power Automate. See what happened. Oh, your flow ran successfully. What? First try? So here you can see the outputs of the, so this is all that comes back response ID, get response details. Now we get some interesting stuff. Let me go with the outputs and we can take a look at those outputs. Here's the body of the outputs, uh, response test, lightleaver.ca, blah, 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 testing. Okay, so that seems to have worked. Let's go back to our uh, toolkit, toolkit guest users and refresh, see if it actually loaded into the list. Oh, there it is and everything. Okay, wow. That worked first try. Um, no, I did not practice that in advance. 
So now I can take this forms form, this one, and I can um, collect responses. So here I like to shorten the URL. So now I can copy that link and I can put this uh, form on my website in a frame or I can email it to people or uh, whatever I need to do now to gather those responses. So my next step will be to, to automatically create the guest users from the flow. So uh, uh, tune in later for that one. All right. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to subscribe and share and all those other good things. I uh, really appreciate the comments as well. And I do try to respond to all of your comments and questions. And again, feel free to contact me directly, directly for uh, consulting, training, or speaking engagements with uh, Microsoft 365 and SharePoint. That's how I make my bread and butter and tacos. All right. Bye for now. Bye.